Hello, welcome back to the channel. I've just finished filming on board this bearing for my main channel, Yacht Boy. But what I want to do now is just show you around some of my favorite features. I'm going to start in the accommodation area because there are some other people on board filming at the moment. So I thought I'd sneak down here and show you around some of my favorite features in the accommodation areas. Starting, of course, with a full beam master cabin. Uh, I absolutely love the finish down here really really high quality uh, has a really really nice feel to it you know even the uh the the, the finer details when you look around uh, you see the finish on the cabinetry uh it's flush with everything around it all the lines and the curves are just smooth it's just a really really nice high quality finish uh, i love this uh, master ensuite as well uh, lots of space in here got a huge shower really nice vanity lighting as well uh, as you can see, plenty of headroom in here, uh, which again is great. Uh, I love the size of that telly as well. You can just imagine waking up, opening the blinds, taking in the view uh, and watching your favourite uh, YouTuber on that huge telly there. Uh, but yeah, you've got three vertical portholes, both on the port and the starboard side. So it allows lots of natural light into this area. Uh, and if like me, uh, you're a bit of a workaholic, and you even work when you're underway or when you're visiting your favorite places, you've got a great place to sit here uh, and do some work as well. Uh, let's move forward. Over here on the starboard side, a great little utility room uh, with a washer and dryer in here. I like the fact that obviously when you're in here and you're loading and unloading, you're not having to bend down uh, and crouch uh, to get to uh, the washer dryer. Uh, plenty of standing room in here. Uh, over here on the porch side, uh, we've got what is essentially a day head, but with a shower as well. Uh, so guests on board uh, can use this big shower, nice rain head up there. And again, you've got a porch hole with privacy glass, uh, so you don't have to worry about people peering in when you're having a shower. Uh, but yeah, again, like I mentioned uh, at the beginning, the, the quality of the finish in here is really good. Uh, gives you such a high quality feel uh, when you're walking around. Bit of safety equipment here. A monitor for carbon monoxide. Uh, over here on the uh, port side, got a big double cabin. Great for obviously your visitors. Uh, plenty of space in here. Again, you've got three vertical windows uh, on the port side. So lots of natural light coming in. Obviously, you can gain access into the uh, day head uh, through that door as well. But certainly one of my favorite features in the accommodation area is this space in here. Now, the owner elected, instead of having this area as another cabin, Instead, he wanted to have this turned into an area for storage space. Um, the owner operator on board this boat uses this vessel a lot. It's got a really good itinerary coming up. Uh, so he wanted to make sure that he's got plenty of space uh, to keep all of his provisions. So we've got lots of locker space in here. Keep all your dry foods, but also got a huge fridge over here. Look at that refrigeration space. I know on some of my videos, you know, viewers point out uh, some boats I've been on a bit of a lack of uh, freezer and storage space, but you certainly don't get that on here. But yeah, check out all that space. But if you wanted to, if um, the owner sold this boat and a new owner wanted to turn this area back into another cabin, the good thing is, is all the fixtures uh, that you need for a cabin are still in place. So you can still transform this into uh, another cabin if you wanted to. Huge mirrors there, give excellent sense of depth. And because of the class of this vessel, check out that waterside door, how thick that is. Uh, let's move into the forward cabin. Now, one of the things that I noticed when I came in here is just how high up the bed is, but that is high up for a reason. So the owner wanted to make sure that his guests uh, had a big enough bed that they could obviously, you know, come on, enjoy themselves without uh, feeling too cramped. 
So what the owner decided to do was lift the bed up. So you've got an elevated bed here. Um, but what it meant is that you could get a wider bed in here than what you typically find uh, on a boat of this size. And I really like it. Also, one of the benefits of having a bed up this high is that you've got plenty of storage space under there. Uh, you could fit loads of stuff on there. I mean, I travel around with a tiny little suitcase, so I'll probably fit about 15 of my suitcases in there. Uh, you've got the escape hatch up there uh, because this is a watertight compartment. Uh, if that watertight door was sealed shut, then you could escape out of this area thanks to that hatch there. Have a little look in the ensuite. There's such a lovely smell in here. I wish I could show you or share with you the smell. Uh, it's really nice. As you can see, a typical day here on the south coast of England in Portsmouth, absolutely bucketing down with rain and very windy. Uh, but I like how this eye level is probably about a metre above the waterline. Uh, when you're getting ready after having a shower, you can peer out there uh, and enjoy the view. But yeah, so I think it's a really great use of space in general down here. Lots of storage space, plenty of headroom. Uh, I really love the use of the indirect lighting as well. Uh, just really sets the tone down here. Very comfortable, very warm feeling. Got a TV over there on that starboard bulkhead. But yeah, let me know what you think of the accommodation area. Again, if you want to see my full yacht tour video, make sure you head over to my second channel, Yacht Boy, uh, where I've got the full yacht tour. In a minute, I'm going to take you up onto the bridge and in the engine room, uh, as long as obviously filming's finished up there. So I'll see you in a second. So I managed to sneak up onto the bridge just to show you some of my favorite features up here. Um, one of the first things that I noticed was the size of these windows, both on the port and the starboard side. Uh, when you're sitting here, or when your guests are sitting here and you're on the way, sit over here on the port side, but check out that view. You look out this huge window on a typical uh, rainy day. You see it's absolutely bucketing it down. But if you want to, you can open this as well to get some fresh air. Uh, you've got another one over there on the starboard side. Uh, so you can get plenty of air circulating through here. Uh, you've got four large multifunction uh, screens on here as well. So you can configure it how you wish. But yeah, when you're standing here and you're on the way, as you can see, you get a great, uh, great all round view. Little comm section over there uh, with the radios with the uh, headsets. So you can talk to your crew as you're bringing the boat alongside. I must say the owner operator on this boat has done a fantastic job of bringing this boat in here. Uh, came down this way, span it around, and you've got a boat over there, literally about eight foot off the bow. Um, but the owner has a remote control system on here, a wired re remote control system. Uh, so he was able to bring it in really nicely. The reason he's gone for the wired system is that you don't have to worry about interference from when you're in busy marinas, all the Starlink antennas, all the VHF antennas, uh, Wi-Fi antennas. Uh, so the owner's opted for that element of redundancy by having a cable system uh, rather than a, a wireless remote, which I think is a really great idea. Um, but yeah, so there's plenty to love up here. But yeah, for me, certainly the size of those windows really is a standout feature. Uh, you've got some more equipment up there on the brow. But yeah, let me know what you think. Oh, there's Nick, alcoholic over there, doing his filming. Give him a little wave, you probably won't have to see me. It's getting wet out there. It's dedication for you. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please don't forget to give the video a like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And like I said before, if you want to check out the full yacht tour, then head over to my other channel. I'll leave a link in the comments. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.